Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Mustafa Mohamed Boche and in today's tutorial, I'm actually creating a mini series on how we can create a successful REST API in Django. Okay, so I'm presuming that you are new to Django and you know some basis of Django and possibly are coming from, for instance, a JavaScript background or maybe you usually have been consuming APIs and want to know how you can create your own API in Django. So we're actually going to uh, create a simple module, okay, called, for instance, a reporter, okay, and then the information that we're actually going to get from the reporter is the full name and then the email. So let's go ahead and create this module. So I'm going to call create this class called, for instance, reporter, right? And then I'll pass in the modules the module, and I'll set the full name. Sorry full name as the child field 255 for instance it does not need to be it can be for instance 100 right and then the email so for the email we're actually going to use the email and then we'll use for instance let's give this 100 okay so let's save this <coughs> and then we'll go inside our view now i'm actually going to call this um, view this is actually where you know you handle all your routes okay if you are coming from a different language or what have you this is actually where you handle your requests and responses okay inside the view so i'm going to call this reporter list and then create I'll pass the request in there. Sorry. I'm calling this reported list create because from this particular function, we want to be able to create a reporter and also from that same particular function, based on the request method, we also want to view all reporters that have been created. Okay, so that is why I have this as for a reporter create list. So now <clears throat> I'm going to go in there and then, for instance, say if the request, so if request method is what is post, we'll say, for instance, success is equal to true. Okay. So to return a JSON response, we need to import it from, we need to import a JSON response from Django HTTP. So we'll do from Django.http want to import JSON response. Okay, so come here. They will say we'll return JSON response, and they will pass in, for instance, success colon for instance true. Sorry, true. There you go. Or we can actually pass in, for instance, a string. Is a post request for instance. This is a post request, and then we'll come down. Sorry, else for instance, return JSON is a get request. Okay, it's a get request. So we save this. Okay, then we are supposed to create a URLs. Okay, a file called urls.py and inside urls.py from Django urls will import path okay. and it will create a variable called url pathings sorry and then we'll pass the path in there so we want for instance if we access localhost colon uh, 8000 slash for instance reporter a slash api slash for instance reporter okay so i'm going to call this what uh, for instance reporter and give it a forward slash and then colon then what we also need to import we must also import our views okay so that we can grab this particular function so come down here and then see from this particular directory okay you want to import 
our views okay. so down here we just see views dot what reporter create list okay like this so we save it and then we save this now inside our main project which is my app we have to come to the urls and then import include like this and then for instance over here because we want to access localhost colon 8000 slash api slash reporter we've actually satisfied the reporter the slash reporter over here so what we actually need to do is say path for instance let me bring our comma and then over here we do what api slash just like that and then we'll include our rest api urls okay so we save this and then we save that so now if for instance we we come to I'm using Thunder Client, so you can be using Postman, whatever you are using to make your request. So we can come here and then say, for instance, API slash reporter, right? And then make a for slash, and then we can make, um, for instance, um, a post request. Sorry, so I've not started the server, which is, which is one thing. So I need to run the server. So let's do Python manage. Sorry manage.py run server so as soon as our server starts running we can make our request again so it says what the post request was forbidden because what because of what cross-site for a uh, what request forgery which is true so we need to come here and then ensure that we exempt cross-site request forgery. So we'll come here and then say from, for instance, Django.views. Dot for instance, decorators. Dot csrf. We want to import cross-site request forgery underscore exempt. Okay. So we just do. And that should handle it so now if we save and then we go back and then we'll make our request again we get this a post request if we make a get request we get this a get request good so now in the next i'm going to pause over here and then in the next section we are actually going to look at how we can receive um, a request which was posted with json or with form data. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next tutorial.